this is the first Canadian platform to do this. And what is it I'm talking about? No further ado, none this is the first Canadian platform to allow us small investors to be able to stake our cryptos on their platform. So what I'm going to do now is I haven't done anything yet. I read a bit about it and I'm going to go right through it and stake some of my Cardano. By the way, there's only three cryptos you can stake right now. You can stake a uh, Popa Dot, uh, Ethereum, and Cardano. And out of all three, I only have Cardano. So it's only fair I stake some of my Cardano. Hello, welcome to Finance 101. On today's video, I'm going to talk about how to stake what some of your cryptos on Nandax. That's the only platform right now that you can actually do staking on. So, a disclaimer right now, you can't do anything on your smartphone right now for it now. So, you have to be on your, I guess, your laptop or your PC to be able to do it right now. It was a message saying that, yeah, working on that, it will be coming soon. And when it does come, I will try to update you on that. So let's start right here. See, this is my main dashboard when you go into your Nandex platform. And as you can see on the side where it says trade, wallet, and you can see staking right here. So you're going to go into staking and see what, how it looks like. So when you're in, it's supposed to look just like this. And when you scroll down, you see the only got Popa Dot, the DOT, you can stake, you can stake Cardano, or you can also stake Ethereum right here. So as you can see right here, I have a little bit of a thousand shares of Cardano. So I'm going to try to stake half of it since this is new and I just read a little bit about it. I don't know how risky it is. So I'm only going to stake half of mine right now. So you go right here on the side here and you click on stake. And then I read this already. It's really, really, really long. So I'm not going to read everything here. But basically, they talk about the risk and for the chances you're taking. And if you have Ethereum, you're going to stake it. You also have to read a little bit more in depth about it because it's a whole page for that, how you can lose some of your crypto if you do the staking, a bunch of things that can go wrong. So it's all up to you to do your due diligence and read through all this before you decide to stake. But I look into Cardano, the risk is not that high. And But if you look down here, it also talks about the percentage. So on the trillion right here, on the percentage wise, you're going to get on annually, but they pay daily. You're going to get 4 to 7% when you stake over here. That's what. And there's um, admin fee on Nandex, what, 20%. And it's the boarding is three days. So what boarding is three days means is that when you stake it, to be able to receive anything from it, you basically have to wait three days for boarding before it gets in, before you can go. And if you look down here for Pocket, that is two days. And Cardano is one day. Also, onboarding over here for Cardano. Uh, onboarding meaning how long before you can sell. So Cardano has none. So you can basically stake today and sell tomorrow if you need to get out. And for Pupuda is 28 days. And let me see for the trillion is what? Until yeah, you have to find out how all this changed for Oh, wow, three to six months. So that's why I say you have to read through all this because that one here is a lot of things that can go wrong. So be careful which one you're going to get in. So if you go down now and you have to acknowledge all this after you acknowledge another one, you have to acknowledge again. So so if you don't know what staking is, staking is like, oh, what is the simple ways I can put it? Okay, I guess staking is like um putting your money in your bank account and the bank using your money to lend to other people for them to do whatever they need to do and then pay interest on it. So that's the, I guess the easiest way I can explain this to you. Okay. So I've acknowledged that. And if you come down here, the button over here is one day. So, and I have a thousand ninety over here. So let's say we're going to stick around 500. And bear in mind, I haven't done this before, so I have no idea what is going on. You know what? Let me just go down here 50%. So 50%, I got half in, half out. So let's see. So, okay, you, okay, you may unstake your asset within four hours. So basically, if I do this now, and within four hours, I can sell it if I want to. But 
I mean, a long term for Cardano. And if this really start doing good for me, I see that I'm making some profit off it. I'll put the other half in there too. But for now, it's the first time I haven't tried anything. It's pretty new. I think it came out two, three days ago. So I'm just trying it out. So I'm only going to put half of my Cardano in there. So I went 50%. So basically you can go 25%, 50, 75, or 100 over here. So I'm good with 50. So I go continue. Let's see what happens after that. Okay. So the asset is ADA. Staking amount is 545. Whatever it is. And it looks like the payout is going to be 4.8. I know if you go to those American sites and stuff, you're way higher. You get paid like sometimes 20%, anywhere from I think uh, 15 to 30. But it's the first Canadian one, so you kind of have no choice that you take it or you leave it. So you know what? 4.8% is better than nothing that my Cardano is sitting there, nothing happening right now. So if I'm going to make even a little profit out of it, I'm not going to complain about that. So the payoff frequency is daily, as you can see right here. And the start date is February 16th, 2022. Right now, that's today's date. So um, as you can see here, for okay to avoid any staking reward quantities, for the okay so you don't do any early withdrawals but after four hours but anyways like i said i'm in cardano for long term so i'm not thinking about taking anything out yet so let's start staking and see what happens here so we're going your staking subscription has been created it's a congratulations staking reward uh coming your way so i don't know how how much i'm going to be getting but i'll do an update video when uh, i start making something off it that she have some proof if anybody's scared, I guess I reason myself as a guinea pig and if it works out for me, you can also jump in or you can jump in alongside with me. So, so to, to manage your staking subscription to the staking. Okay, I guess the dashboard, I'll be able to see that. So I guess that's how easy it is. But make sure you do your due diligence and read through what it says over there. But like I said, Cardano one's pretty simple, straightforward. But if you get into the Trillium, it's very, very, a little bit confusing and seem like you're taking a lot of risk putting your asset on there for them to make money for themselves and for you but it's up to you you know some people might have a little higher risk tolerance than i do but right now i don't even own it so i don't even have to think about it so that's it for the video that's just a quick way to show you how to stake on the nandax platform and i'll see you in the next one and leave nandax links in the description if you have not registered yet please do go through my link and I think they give you a reward, something I get a little kickback too. So bye for now and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.